Is today the day Pokemon shows us the starter evolutions? It's only one way to find out. We got a 14 minute Pokemon news video, and let's get it, boys. All right, everyone. It's almost time to begin your journeys in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Are you ready? It's nearly time. You'll get to catch Pokemon, raise them, Ooh, and cool evolution them. screen. As you embark on an adventure where the familiar charms of the Pokemon series evolve into a new experience. The familiar charms. As a student at an academy in the Paldea region, you'll take part in an independent study program called the Treasure Hunt. And you'll see the world for a precious treasure of your very own. But hey, at this point, the boy you probably knew all Let's that already, go. right? Here's something we yes, hope even well informed viewers will enjoy. A sneak peek at four particular trainers' journeys in Paldea. Okay. Now let the adventures begin. Lechonk, bro. This trainer is battling a Pokemon called Lechonk. Lechonk is a gourmand. It's proud of its nose, which it uses to sniff out delicious food. Okay. Nothing groundbreaking here so far, but I mean, I wish it would show the trainer walking around in the battlefield. Oh, like, look. like Legends Arceus. He do be terrestrializing, though. Okay. Terrestrializing is a phenomenon unique to the Paldea region. I don't know how I feel about this. The hat looks stupid. Why <laughs> they all get hats, bro? Extra punch to move the Pokemon's type. There's like Japanese under the text there. That was weird. What's that over there? Is that a glowing Pokemon? Hello? It seems to be a Jigglypuff. But why is it shining so bright? Or it's a specific terrestrializing type or something? Terrestrialized. Yeah. Looks like this Jigglypuff has the water type for its Terra type. Oh, okay, so Apparently, you can just these sparkly find... wild Pokemon will terrestrialize in battle. I don't like the way it looks, but I like the mechanic in general. It's really, it's really a. It's tough to like because look how they look. I don't. This does anybody like the way that looks? Pretty tough. But Quaxley's strong too. Quaxley's strong as hell. Is it going to show Quaxley evolving? Wild Terra Pokemon causes its terrestrialization to come undone. You shattered the dude. Now, throw a Pokeball. I like the interface of kind of the UI, at least so nice. far. The wild Jigglypuff was caught. Some Pokemon, Ooh. like this Jigglypuff, have a Terra type completely different from their regular type. Interesting. Any Pokemon is capable of having any of the 18 different types. This is going to make competitive type. Pokemon so incredibly difficult. <laughs> like every Pokemon can turn What's it. Oh this? my god. Quaxley's out there in the world, charging straight toward that Litleo. Oh, okay. He just said, like "I'll take it." Quaxley battled Litleo on its own and won. Got a Litleo That's tough item. The trainer gave Quaxley the "Let's Go" command. Using Let's Go will send your lead Pokemon out onto the field to battle. Interesting. If a Pokemon gets sent out toward an item, it'll go pick it up. Just like Quaxley here. What a useful command. Yeah, pretty similar to Legends Arceus, breaking rocks These kind of Pokemon like passively. Are so helpful, giving their all for their partner. The landscape yes, looks like ass, kind of. To see where he wants to go. I like the map though. Thank God they gave us a nice map. Look at that you shit. Can the road. Place as your destination to keep yourself on track as you go. There's then a mini map too, right? Yeah. The legendary Pokemon. The mini map is especially and useful. Going. And what have we here? It's a base belonging to Team Star. The, the evil boys. Characters. Starfall Street, one of the three major stories that will make up your Paldean adventures, will unfold in bases like this one. Are they going to show us the Pokemon that's the motor of the car? The trainer rang the bell and barged into the base. Oh, shit. That takes some guts. But things look bad. There are lots of grunts around, and they keep sending out Pokemon. Oh, we got multiple battles at once? We'll need to use Let's Go to defeat Team Stars. Look at the Wiglet. I mean, this is kind of cool. It takes away, like, the turn-based, just, like, slow battles. The have been defeated at last. But wait. I kind of like it. Is that some kind of tricked-out car? Here it is. Here it is. Here's the Mon. It is. That engine's a Pokemon, I swear to God. Is Mela, the boss of Team Star's fire crew. Mela. She's obviously tough. It's easy to see why she's a boss. Oh, jeez. Time for these trained up Pokemon to battle. I feel like we've seen this scene with the Torkoal already. You'll have to wait for your own adventure to see how a battle like this plays out. 
Oh. Now let's okay. check in on another trainer. No engine How's her Pokemon. Going? Aha! She's using the TM what? machine at the Pokemon Center. TM machine? The TM machine lets you make your own TMs. Just hit the also crafting table real quick? That's kinda lit. Using materials Pokemon drop when you defeat or catch them. So we saw Litleo Tuft was dropped. Use a snom thread? Interesting. So you can Now what? where will she go next? Seems to be a desert like area under a blazing sun. Just the crabs. It is enough to make you thirsty. Oh, her Rotom phone is ringing. Sounds Rotom like phone. Her friend in the next grade up needs some help. Arvin. To give Arvin a hand, the trainer's headed to a rock face. Look at this absolute Titan unit. Works. This is one of the stops on the path of legend, a story where you'll seek out legendary herbs called Herba Mystica. Legendary herbs. There it is. A gigantic Titan Pokemon. Time to battle. So what's up with Titan Pokemon? They haven't really even explained what this right means. That, this Drifloon's about to get wind. bodied by this the thing. Move our trainer taught Drifloon earlier. Icy Wind lowered the Titan Cloth speed stat. One balloon or very large Drifloon Titan crab? To become a grass type. Nice. This is Terrablast. He get flowers on his head. To match the user's Terratype when the user is Terrastalized. Hid new hidden it's power. For a Pokemon with a Terratype different from its regular types. Looks like Cloth suddenly got somewhere. It didn't even knock its he health all the way out, did it? What's our trainer doing what even now happened of all times? Looks like she's taking a little break from adventure oh? to trade Pokemon with a friend. Random ass here, link trade? Her trade partner has received Giraffe Rig. Why are they giving Giraffe Rig like back? She immediately added Giraffe sorry, sorry about my dog team, working. And she's gonna let it run around in the field and train up for some battles. Oh, giraffe rig evolution! Let's go. Oh, Hello. Finally. Hang on. Did its tail he, come he's got a hoodie on. It looks shiny. Yep. There's no way. Holy shit! It's straight up furigraph. His neck just got longer, and his tail's on his head. I mean, I guess it's cool. Might make Giraffe Rig more interesting. Hold on, let's go back to that. Let me take a look at this scene again. Just normal st psychic still. Um, don't get a whole lot of information. <laughs> the long necked Pokemon. Interesting. Weird, weird Pokemon to give an evolution for, but where is Dunsparce, though? Where is the Sparse? Now that the trainer's Pokemon have gotten stronger, it seems she's made her way to a gym. She's following Victory Road, the story where you'll conquer all eight gyms. This is the one we care about. Nimona, the battle-loving trainer who will show you the ropes, is all fired up. Before you can battle a gym leader, you'll first have Sun to pass the gym test at their hide gym. And seek. Better get started right away. Look at that! Oh my God! What were the what were the frames on that? The gym test <laughs> They're running at two frames a second. <laughs> The boy Fido. Show us another evolution, please. Okay. We've also seen Sudowoodo terrestrialized before as well. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of new stuff, but... I don't like Fido. I'm sorry to say it. Look at that. It's gross. Look at that thing. I don't like his ears, got cauliflower ear, it's a weird doe thing, I don't... Aha, I like the name and the, the pun, it, I don't know. It's like the only new Pokemon I don't really care for. Okay, Terastalizing seems like it's gonna be a pain in the ass to like, <laughs> play like, in a competitive meta. Like, anything can be any type, so how do you prepare for literally anything? Trailblaze. They gotta hit us with something big toward toward the end ish, right? Into a hair salon oh, grab that clean season. short bob. Let's go. <laughs> wow, look at all these this character actually looks pretty good. I like it. You better catch me with that short bob though. Yeah, character actually looks really nice. Eye shape. There's a lot of uh, 
A lot of customization. Look at all those eyelashes, Jesus. And while you're trying out all sorts of styles, you can whip out the camera app and go snap. Snap, take some snap. selfies. That's kind of cool. Like this trainer found the perfect style. Line up a good shot and snap. Now they've updated their profile. But what's picture. the point? I mean, I guess it's cool for a profile picture. Looking but back like on what? Photos you've taken of scenic vistas or memorable moments with beloved Pokémon oh. is just one more way to enjoy your adventure. And now it's picnic time. With Pokemon. Picnics? This is the same thing we had in Sword and Shield. You just when bust Pokemon your Pokemon out and you can play with them? Cool. Give them a shower. Looks like it feels nice too. <laughs> Ever since Pokemon and me, they're like, the people Pokemon want to just heck around Pokemon. with their Pokemon in the wild. Tell how much fun they're having. I guess. This is cool. But like... This is a feature at- ooh! Could this be a Pokemon egg? Hold up, there's a Pokemon egg! Eggs can sometimes be found during picnics. Ooh! Okay, I was gonna say, what's the point? Oh my god, it's just like the curry. Oh my god. Does anybody care about making a sandwich with your Pokemon? I will do this one time, and then never again, like... This one may be a little overstuffed. It might not hold together. I feel like they'd be spending time on features that don't matter. Like, what? Just gotta put the bread on top and finish it off with a pick. Done. Cool. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Yeah, so oh, pretty much just the same like thing as the curry. With everyone. But in Paldea, they got sandwiches. Eating sandwiches can give you benefits, like making certain types of Pokemon easier to catch. Okay. Or making your Pokemon gain more experience. I guess points. that's kind of cool. For a group photo with these satisfied Pokemon. Where to go next? Oh, hey, looks like more of our trainer friends have shown up. Show us some online connectivity right. stuff. They're going to take on a Terra Raid battle. Can these trainers work together to okay. defeat the Terra Pokemon before time runs Raid out? battles are back. Reskin Sword and Shield confirmed. <laughs> I like the new giraffe rig gun. Ooh, that sounds like a real hassle. Sparkling Chansey put up. So... Rather than the Pokemon being big, it instead just gets a different type, and then it's the same exact thing, I, I guess, as Dynamax raids, right? Is, is there any difference here? It's really powerful. These trainers better stay determined, band together, and it's really back. powerful. Hmm. If your Pokemon gets knocked out in a Terra raid battle, don't worry. It's dead forever. It can recover and rejoin the fray. Oh. Hang Give us Nuzlocke you know. mode. Along with using your Pokemon's moves, you also have the option to support your allies by cheering. Yeah, this is the it's same thing. Teamwork. Watch how the battle's going and decide how Hang to tough. fight and work with your fellow trainers. Yeah, I mean, the raid battles are... Almost there. Keep it up. Pretty much exactly what you'd expect. And they better hit us with something big here at the end, I swear to god. What the sounds? Wow! That was a beautiful Terra Raid battle. Wow. And with it comes the chance to catch this Terra Pokemon. When you join forces to win your battles, the bonds between friends and Pokemon shine The bonds between friends and Pokemon, baby. Believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, it just seems kind of like a oh, waste right. of. That chancy with a rare terra type is now part of the team. So I guess that's the only way to get certain so, rare terra types is to do raids like that, which is While cool. While getting a look at these four trainers' journeys, did you spot a glimmer of something that could become your personal treasure? Encounters with Titan Pokemon, face-offs with Team Star, taking on gyms. There's plenty more to be said about all these things, of course. What you just saw was only a glimpse of the adventures awaiting you in the past. I was hopeful that they were gonna show us something other than a Duraferig evolution. However What sort of exciting I guess we got something. It's all up to you. Your adventures are right around the corner. May they shine bright. So if we take a look over at the old Pokemon website, it has the full roster of Pokemon. We can actually take a closer look at the new Giraffe rig. So here is Furigiraffe. Um, we get a little bit more information. So <laughs> long neck Pokemon. That's new info. Um, my dude is an absolute unit. It has two new abilities: Cud Chew and Armor Tail. Interesting. 
Head of its main body and head from its tail have become one. Both the Frigraph's brain are connected through thick nerves, increasing its psychic energy, and it can emit psychic waves from the antenna on its head, always useful, always mindful of its surroundings. And while it can detect danger in an instant, there are times when its body cannot react as fast as two brains can think. So, new ability, Kudchu. Um, interesting. When a Pokemon with this ability eats a berry, it will eat one more eat it one more time at the end of the next turn. So, yeah, it essentially can eat two berries. That could actually be really nice for um, scenarios where, you know, stat increasing berries, this thing could be super nice. Double Salic Berry, plus two speed. The thick, sturdy head from its tail provides good defense for the head and the mane of the body. When the head from its tail closes its mouth, Frograph whips its long neck around in an attack that deals brutal physical damage. The force of this attack is said to be able to pulverize stone and crush steel beams, so more of a physical variant. Interesting. And then the last new ability is Armor Tail. Um, new ability makes opposing Pokemon unable to use priority moves. So both actually really interesting new abilities. Um, I think Kudshu has a lot of potential, but both are actually pretty sweet. This is also something interesting I found uh, finishing up the video. <laughs> Shout out to Wolfie. He actually posted a cl uh, screenshot of apparently there was a minimap shown and it revealed Pokemon that we were not supposed to see, I don't think. There's like two weird mice dudes and then there's a, a, a parrot. But like also this thing on the bottom right, I don't imagine is a Pokemon. Interesting. Regardless, they definitely showed this probably without thinking we were going to see it. But the parrot looks pretty sweet. The mice look like they've seen some shit. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys' thoughts are uh, in general on this direct and kind of just Scarlet and Violet as a whole. But uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.